I painted Chainsaw Man into this thrift store print. What, what am I doing with my face there? Man, I am not professional at all. So I'm giving YouTube a real try. I, I'm, I owe it to you guys. I, I don't even know who y'all are. I hope y'all are cool. Because uh, every time I paint anime, it sometimes doesn't go so great for me. Anime fans are, are fickle. And that's crazy because I'm one of them. I don't ever find myself doing that. So that's a choice. Uh, Chain <laughs> Chainsaw Man. I'm a big fan of this one. I caught on to this late. I, get, I mean, it's fairly new, I suppose. But uh, I went and bought all the mangas. I read the first one, and then I watched the show, and the show was so good that I didn't read any of the others, so now I have a very expensive stack of paperweights. I regret it. It's a financial decision I make often. It affects my life very negatively, and I wish you guys would stop bringing it up. Um, this this show, though, is beautiful. I, I It's very dreamlike. I can tell there's a lot of effort put into it. I hope they maintain that, because that's what drew me in, and I'm actually trying to paint a little differently to, to match that dreamlike quality. I'm going to do what's called chromatic aberration. And that's, you see it a lot in the eighties films. It's not an intentional thing, but I think it creates that nostalgic feel of, uh, of an older film look. And essentially it's, it's where the light that you're using hits a hard contrasted edge. Like let's say the part of the fence on the left right in front of the tree where it's very dark and very light so on that you would actually see the light break into its individual hues and you get a slight rainbow on the edges they do it all the time in video games people don't like it i, I mean i it makes things blurry so i get it but uh, i do enjoy the look like in cyberpunk i think it looked very cool but in this it's it's going to help me kind of capture that dreaminess and um you'll see it sort of building i've already done it a bit you can see the greens around the edges show up a little more but that kind of stuff not only does it help my painting style blend into the new painting style, um, but it also sort of gives the the edges a little more cohesiveness because I'm I'm painting into a photo print of an oil painting that was originally about three to four feet wide. So now all this detail that that Winberg did is crammed into a very small area, and I have to try and match that in a smaller format. So that's kind of hard. So, you know, these are these are little tricks to make it all feel as if it was painted at the same time. I'm also making a concerted effort to thin out my character drawings a little more because I used to draw them exactly to scale in terms of their thickness or thinness. And then as I start painting, I overproduce the edges to find the lighting I like. And now they're thicker than they should be. And I've got like these Roblox chonky characters instead of, you know, the thin Japanese bodies that the characters are, are made after. So I, I can paint a dollar menu body all day long, but I do struggle to paint very thin characters. I'm, you know, I'm working on that. I think it's more elegant and I'm not saying a lot of artists make mistakes or can't get what they want out of something. And their first tendency is to say, well, that's my style. Uh, I won't do that. I will just admit I'm failing to, to hit the mark is what it is. It's not my style. It's, you know, a lack of skill. So I'm going to push myself until I get where I'm trying to be, which is thinner, more elegant characters. And I will say uh, on this one with Denji jumping, I'm, I'm happy with it. I don't feel like he's too thick. He's got some great movement. The scale feels right. Um, I am, I'm happy with this painting. I'm usually very hard on myself, but not, not on this one. And then um, I, you're probably already thinking like, oh, cool, you painted Chainsaw Man and then didn't paint Chainsaw Man. But you guys know I can't paint Pochita and Chainsaw Man at the same time. They're one and the same. It's very difficult. I, I've been given a devil's handshake, uh, no pun intended, on this particular show. I, I desperate, I'm going to paint another. I'll say that. But I wanted to paint Pochita for sure. And I felt like if I did paint Chainsaw Man, people would be like, hey, where's Pochita? So what I'm going to do, I'm doing the Origins, which is, you know, the Tomato Devil here. And then I'm going to paint one that has Power and um, Chainsaw Man. And maybe I'll, I'll pick a cooler devil. I really like the, the dog that swallows. I don't remember the name of that one. Or did it have a name? Sometimes they don't. But the dog that swallows things whole, um, that was dope. So there's more to come if you like this one. And um, if you don't like this one... You'll let me know, because that's what anime fans do. They let you know how much they like a show by complaining about everything about the show. It's it's a very toxic relationship. I run into it quite often. That's why when people say, hey, do you like anime? I say, I do. I love anime, but I'm not a fan. And <laughs> especially the Naruto crowd. I don't know what it is about those dudes. Uh, I painted Naruto one time, and they just picked everything apart. All the way down to, like, the original print I didn't even paint in. So they were, like, ripping Winberg apart, which is... I mean, that that's an established, famous painter. So that's how you know your complaints are going completely off base. 
Uh, I'm complaining about complaining. That has just occurred to me. I'm not going to do that anymore. So anyways, I did Meowie, though. I did feel like, in terms of timeline, I couldn't put power in here. They hadn't met yet. But the cat did exist, and she assumedly is finding the cat around this time frame when Denji is is hunting devils for cash. So, um, you know, that felt like at least an homage to one of the characters. Also, Meowie's adorable. I don't have to justify this. Um, so there you go. There's the final print. If you like that, I'm actually, I have prints for you at downcycle.com. Okay, love you. Bye.